All right, this next skill is determining the spatial arrangement of numbered cube faces when given a numbered net. Okay, again, now you're given a net. This net will form a cube. So this is, if you fold this net up, you will form a cube. Okay, now, if you were to fold this up, what would each face, how would the numbered faces look, okay, relative to each other? So which of these five cubes is an actual possibility if you were to fold this cube up. Okay, so we actually need to go through these one at a time and prove which ones would not work. Okay, now, if you were to fold this up, now let's see, okay? Let's look at one, two, and three. Now, one, two, and three on this cube, on this net, are actually in line with each other. Okay, if you look at this first image, they would actually be in line. So they, the, the three would actually be back in this, in this, uh, this back face over here. That three would be back in the rear face. So in this first example, this is not a possibility. One, two, and three will not be in this arrangement. They'll actually be in line with each other. So it would actually look something like this. One, two, and then three. Three would be on that back face. Three would be back here, okay? So A is incorrect. Okay, so moving on. So A is incorrect. All right, now B, option B. All right, so option B has one, two, and five in that arrangement. Okay, so let's look at, let's first, let's compare and see if those numbers are in the appropriate places. Not, I, I, we're not gonna look at just the orientation of the numbers just yet, but we're gonna look at where they are relative to this number, this, uh, this net. Okay, so if you look, one, two, and five are in a pattern like this. So actually one and two, if you look at one and two, they're on, um, uh, they're in line with each other as they are in this net. And then five is actually next to two. It's actually next to two. And so that is a possibility. Okay, next thing we need to know is would the arrangement look like this? So if I were to fold it, would the numbers be, uh, <coughs> be oriented in this direction? Okay, and if you actually fold this up, B will form, will be an actual possibility. So B will be accurate. It will actually look like this. All right, now moving on. One, five, and six. One, five, and six. Okay, so if you look at this net, five and six will never be next to each other. If you were to fold these up, they would be on opposite, on opposite faces. So five would be over here. Five would be here, and then six would be in the back. They will never be next to each other. They will never be next to each other like this. So C is not an option. All right, now, how about D? Five, two, and three. So five is connected to two, and two is connected to three. So yes, this would be a possibility. Five, two, and three, this would work. So B and D so far are good. Now let's move on to letter choice E. Two, six, four. Okay, so two, six, and four. Okay, so if we were to fold this up and let's put, so two and four will actually be opposite each other. Two and four will not be next to each other because this three will fold up. So if you if you actually to, to fold this up, the two and the four will be opposite each other, okay? The two would be here and then four would have to be in the background. They would not be next to each other. Okay, so if you were to actually fold this up, the two and the four would be opposite each other. They would not be adjacent. So E is not an option. So your final answers are B and D.